hear me? Huh? There's a woman here. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a Mercedes Benz. It's like an SUV. You're wearing something whitish on top. Come. We need to pray for you. You hear me? Your, your things are no longer working. It's true. Men You're God. hearing me? Amen. So everything is blocked. Yes. And I see you people dropping down to zero. Yes. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying to you. It's correct. And very soon, you'll be forced to sell everything you have. We have started already. I'm telling you. Mm. That's why I said something bad is coming. You know, because I see you people losing property. Proper, yes. One by one. One by one. one by, all your plants, none of them is producing something now. That's true. And I see properties leaving. You selling this, I see you selling this, I see you selling that. You'll be left with zero. That's true. So now we need God to restore you people. Amen. You're hearing me? Amen. You have exposed your, you know, your, you have exposed yourself to wrong people. I can tell you that. Even this car that I'm talking about, it is supposed to be involved in an accident. You know, if you remember, there was a time you were driving, you scratched something. You know, so now, what we need to pray, we must pray. Because if you check, you know, if you check, since the issues of the family coming close to you, there's problems. Because there are family members now, they are trying to come close. Please, you must be careful. Thank you, Mayor Robert. I'm sure you're hearing me. I'm hearing you. I'm saying, let me say this again. I'm seeing you losing your properties. Mm. And you will start to sell them one by one mm. until you are down on the ground. That's true. Just last year, mm. we sold about five cars to, just to be... Give glory to Jesus. <clears throat> now, even this one you have, you will lose it. times was I calling? Huh? Don't cry, mama. Don't cry. So next time we must be patient with you people. But to be honest with you, there's no prophet that is patient. I don't think it was only Moses. The region losing five cars. Mama, you must not cry. So even the one you have, you will lose it. In this one. Stretch your hands to these people. If you pray for them, you're also praying for yourself that God help me not to lose anything. Pray for them. Pray. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. You are not exceptional. Pray for this family. And imagine if they don't come out. Imagine. Pray! my tenant.
I reverse in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be reversed in the name of Jesus. If you have never been blessed and if you have never lost anything, you will never understand. To lose things is painful. And most people that have got depression now is because of what they've lost. Let me touch you, my brother. Let me touch you here. attacks and you it's need to true. pray for this huh? it's true. you know to me when I touch you I saw a spirit of death and I want to cancel this problem because lately you're also dreaming very bad things yes. so I believe God must revive you you hear me yes. God must revive you and give you life in Jesus name Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you are all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makaniniza. And standing with me here today is my brother who was located during the service yes. by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon his life. So, <coughs> kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Rutan Domukwewo. I came from Cleveville Extension 45. So today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, the man of God came to me and asked me, where is my father? I told him uh, he has passed on. He said that uh, it's because he has seen the spirit of death in me. Because every time when I sleep, I see people who are died or the spirit that death, which is true. And even when I was sitting there, I was feeling sick in my stomach but right now I can Jesus. feel that uh, it's, I'm free, I can't feel that pain that I was having in my stomach. And how long have you been experiencing this pain and how has it affected you? Oh, it started I think two years back. I've Jesus. been feeling this. La last year I even came here and they pay prayed for me but it just stopped and came back. But now I feel free and I believe that Jesus has set me free pray for your brother. I'm also seeing a spirit of death. You hear me? You must pray for this man. Because the way he's living his life uh, is not nice. Okay. So you need to find time to pray for your brother. Okay. Because I was hearing death, death, death because of the abuse of alcohol and other things. So, But I believe God will protect you. Okay. In Jesus' mighty name. Come, I touch you. Well, I'm praying for you. I'm seeing people that are going around a place called Morula something. Morula Sun, somewhere that side. So, but I believe this tragedy won't happen. <laughs> Your tragedy you must not happen in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Two weeks ago, you went for interview. Nothing is working for you, my brother. Two weeks ago, you went for interview, but nothing is working for you. It's true, man of God. You hear me? It's true. Huh? It's true. Something is have to be wrong somewhere. Amen. You know, and because this is not the first interview that you're going to. That's true, man of God. And none of them is producing something. That's true. But come, come here.
you know, you know, you know what is the problem? You know what is the problem? No, I don't know. You, you need to acknowledge what you used to do before. Amen. I'm talking about when you were at home. You need to acknowledge it. I understand. And that, you need to know why you are also here. Amen. If you acknowledge and remember what used to happen, you won't have pain. Amen. You will know there's something there Amen. that is coming. I'm speaking parables. In Jesus' mighty name. So, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Musi Sombuli. I come from Devon. Sir, so today during the service, Prophet Andris located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Yeah. Um, the Prophet highlighted that I'm going to several interviews, but there is no feedback. Uh, there is no materialization of the position or the appointment for the position that I went to, of which is true because really in the past few months I've went for a couple of interviews and there's been no feedback from that. Um, and then he continued and he said, uh, he's speaking in parables, but uh, I need to go You're back to, to what I used to do when I was in town. So, but I understand what so he's trying to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so when I was in Deben, I used to be a part of the church. I used to minister and used to preach the word. So that is what he's referring to, that I need to go back to what I was doing so that all things will be well with me. Yes. Um, you spoke about you going for several interviews and them not materializing. How did that affect you? Um, it did affect me because, you know, when something happens continually, it will affect you mentally. Uh, but I think from my side, because I believe I'm a child of God and I'm strong in prayer, so I will always intercede and pray and, and just trust God that we still going to open doors. Thank you. And so how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you, ministered upon your life, and even guided you on what to do? Yeah. I think for me, the prophecy that I got today, uh, it gave me a direction in terms of also why there was so much rejection on the interviews and also what I need to focus on going forward as well, which is a solution for me. I feel at ease about the prophecy. Uh, as I've alluded before, it gives me a direction in life in terms of what is that I need to do. As he said, it alluded that he, I need to follow what I was doing when I was in depth, and so it gives me a direction going forward. Thank you. Jesus. spirit a strong spirit and I'm seeing issues of business also yes. no I see selling selling you know yes. and any man that comes to this spirit chase these people away so now today God must set you free you hear me there's something here you see here yes. Jesus God will give you money to marry, but you must not doubt. Do you hear me? Yes. Mm, because it's been long overdue now. Yes. So I believe the grace has located you. You're blessed, brother.
Lift her. Lift her. Mama, she's in power. She's still, still busy. You dim out, oh, you dim. Oh, you dim. Yesterday. Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, you demon! You went to a restaurant. Yes, been over. Out! Oh, you dirty spirit! So you eat ribs? Yes. Huh? Yes. Out, you demon! I'm asking, you eat ribs? And wings? You also get wings? Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, okay. Out! And, and, and uh, butternut? No. You don't get butternut? No. You got onion rings? And chips. And chips? Yes. And, and, and spinach? No. Um, that's you, all. No, you don't like spinach? No, I don't eat it. You don't eat spinach? Yeah. In Jesus' name! I'm asking him if he got butternut. Because the shop you where you people went, there's butternut. They sell butternut. Jesus, my tenant. Lift him. Mama, look here. You went to spare yesterday. Yes. Huh? Yes. You went to spare. Yes. Mm, God must protect you. Uh, amen. God must protect you. In Jesus, my tenant. I think it around six o'clock late. Yes. Uh, uh, Come on! Uh, of the house. Huh? Is what, it is it home? What's the plan of the house? Is it home? More I see there's more money that is coming. No! Uh, uh, you are hearing me? Lift her up. You have received money now. Amen. You hear me? But I see there's money that is coming. Amen. And this one that is coming is for business. Amen. For business, this one. Thank you, Jesus. There's a brother here. You, you are coming from the same place with him. So you people... I believe both of you is here in this church. You people will be free. You'll be free. This thing here. Come on. Can I pray for you?
Oj. 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 Arri. 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 What are you doing here? Huh? I can't hear you. I'm blocking. You're, you're doing what? I'm blocking. You're blocking her? Yes. Huh? Yes. Who are you? Yes, I'm me. Me. Huh? Uh, Who are you? I'm the feminine idol. Where, where is the person you are staying with? You? Huh? I think it's in one Monday. Huh? We need You Monday. need to pray for him. You people, the way you are fighting. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. No, no. Take it there. Hey, hey. You say what? Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Onyaka. What are you saying? Because huh? I see this brother involved with someone. This is not nice. Bring that lady here. Bring her here. You say what? Yeah. Hey, Leave her now. Hey, Leave her now. Hey, Leave her now. Hey, Leave her Leave you, demon. Come on! Out! 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 see this man building something somewhere out, outside of what they're having here. And this is not nice. In Jesus' name! One, let it go there. In Jesus' name. You are free, sister. You are free. Stand up. Leave this lady up. She's free. Sister, you, you know your partner was having someone somewhere. We, huh? We've been separated for two years. Yes, I'm saying, do you know he was having someone somewhere? I was suspecting. Huh? I was suspecting. Come here, come here. I can't hear you. You say what? You are suspecting there's someone. Yes, uh, stop suspe suspecting. It's, it's real. So now God must help you. This man is coming back. He'll, ma he'll marry you. Thank you, Jesus. He'll marry you. He will leave that one. I see you losing a job. You. Do you hear me? Amen. You need to pray. Amen. Because I see a lot of mixed up. So Amen. God must help you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Take her there. Take that lady there. Mama, there's a, there's a brother. He looks like he wants to marry in your house. There's a brother. He looks like you need to, we need to pray for him. Mm. Because these things are not going well. Yeah. And I see this man as a fashion designer. You know, he deals with clothes. I know. Uh, but yes, these things are not going. It's like he's involved with your child. And now there's a child now. You know, so we need to pray uh, that uh, God must help him. Okay. God must help him. These things have dropped to zero now. Yeah. So, but I believe uh, through the grace of God, things will work. Okay. But I see him, he wants to marry there. But the way things are going, they're not going well. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. You're also here, Ma. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. 
My name is Catherine Gubini. I'm from Pumulo. Ma, today during the service, Preferent dislocated you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, he told me about Lucia, my daughter, that uh, someone did want to marry her, but things are not working. Everything is down, so I must pray for them so that they can get married. Yes. And Ma, are you aware of what the prophet was talking about? Yes, I'm aware of it because last year he prophesied them and told them that she will get made by that boy. Yes. <laughs> and how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you, spoke upon your life regarding your children and ministered upon your life? I'm very, very much happy. It has been a long time not talking to me, but today I'm so heavy. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Thank you, don't, don't trust, brother, let me tell you, don't trust these people who told you about the land. You hear me? Okay. There are people that told you about the land, don't trust them. Okay. And this right. is uh, something that looks like a scam. Oh, thank you. They, they might take your money and you find you're not receiving the land. Thank you for so your information. May, may God help you. Thank you. God bless you. Life, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Oh, thank you. My name is Willie, by the way. And I'm like from, um, I'm recently stay here in California, next station 22. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, the mighty man Prophet Andres, he told me concerning the issue of land, that I mustn't trust these people of land because of the, it's possible that they might scam me. So I really comprehend and understand the prophecy of where it's really aligning. Can you tell us the background story of what you Okay, he was talking about like, because I did went to him and I confirmed, I said, like, I, I require unto him, I said, Prophet, can I, I want to lend. And should I go for, for it to say, yes, you did well to ask. You just pray for me. You didn't say anything. Understand? So I did take a step of faith. I go and see a land. And I convey with that man. If I'm like, okay, see, hence you saw the land. You can gather your money and then like we'll convey. I say, okay, it's not a problem. Therefore, also in Pretoria, also, even in Pretoria, there's a land which is like I wanted. But I haven't yet convey with them. You understand? So, like, after a while, I say, okay, you know, if that is the case, it's, the, it's not a problem. I come to church, that's when the mighty man speaks about this. So, in me, I just say, Lord, let me cease a little bit. Therefore, I'll go and convey with one of the mighty men and really know what direction should I take. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life? Yo, you know what? I feel so blessed. I feel so, like, so blessed because of, like, I've, I've got a direction of what to do now. So I wanted to go and take a loan. So by grace of God, they say, no, you don't qualify, you know. And I've been asking my brother money. He told me that, like, no, he doesn't have a money now. I understand. So I really thank God for that. Because of, like, it really shows that God is in control of this. Amen. Thank you. There's a brother here. You've got something here on your private uh, it's very painful. Please come here and pray for you. It's like there's a source on your private part. Come here. I want to pray for you. There's something on your private. Yes. Like a source. Yes. And it seems like it's not healing. Yes. Huh? Yes. This is very soon the doctors, they can tell you that you've got a prostate cancer. So now we need to cancel this problem. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Let's stretch our hands to him. We need to cancel this problem. God loves you. You hear me? Yes. God loves you. Amen. You are hearing me? Yes. Can I tell you again? Yes. God loves you. Amen. I pray for this man. Let me hear you praying for him. Because I saw a source growing, growing. It's not healing. But it seems like it's failing to heal. It's painful. Pray for him. Pray, pray for him. Hey, hey, hey. Pray for him. Come on. You touch your ear. Touch your ear. All right. Jesus. Bring them here. You know, uh, the man who bent. Uh, there's a reason why he bent. Amen. 
you hear me? Amen. Because what happened was that he gathered some things around. He wanted to, to bend them. Amen. All of a sudden, the fire catch him. Yes. Huh? Yes. So now, uh, you must pray for him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you hear me? Yes. Uh, this tall man, pray for him. Okay. Uh, the way he bent is mysterious. Yes. It also shows that there's a spirit behind that. Exactly. How can you gather, you know, trash, and from there you want to bend the trash and the fire come to you? So please, uh, I must pray for you. Yes, I, I believe you, God will hear your prayer. Amen. In Jesus' name. You want me to finish? So you want me to close the service? Do you people want me to close the service? No, 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 no. Eh? No. Do you want me to close the service? So you want me to close? Eh? Yes. You say what? I can't hear you. Eh? You say what? No. How can I? Get it? No. Hey. Hey, when I'm saying, who's got a man? I'm sorry. I'm God will give you money. God will give you money for the land. That land that you are looking for, God is going to give you money. God bless you. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Tabo. I come from Kempton Park. Today during the service, Prefer Andres located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. It is true indeed what he said. Uh, I, am look I have learned. I'm just looking for financing. And uh, I'm not surprised that he located me because he's a real, he's a real prophet. Mm, so it, it is true. I can confirm that. that he is, I am looking for, for finance, yes. And how long have you been trusting in God for this breakthrough? Uh, I pray about it all, like all the time, so I always believe that one day it is going to happen, and it is happening. The man of God just confirmed that, that it is going to happen indeed, yes. And how do you feel that he located you and ministered upon your life? Well, I am happy, as one would expect, and uh, knowing that it is true, it makes me even more happier. Amen. Yeah, thanks a lot. I see you moving to a, 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 another house. I don't know. Where's the old house? I was renting, then I bought the house. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing you moving to another house. Yes. Uh, I was just questioning what is happening. Yes. So may God prosper you. Amen. Jesus, my tenant. Jesus' name. Mama, I let you go, but there's something sitting here. Huh? Yes. You know, don't, don't, don't allow Satan to feed you when you're sleeping. Yes. You're hearing me? Yeah. Because lately you've been getting very bad dreams. Yeah, because he's moving up and down. Yes, so yes. You see, I, I passed and I came back because I felt like I'm leaving you and you're not free. And uh, these issues of agriculture, I tell your husband that he will make it. Okay, thank you. Are you hearing me? Yes. You make it, you must give up. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Come on! She's suffering. Uh, your sister, she's suffering, but she's sick. She's sick, she's and the brothers sick. are fighting it too much. So now, uh, why you people you are doing this? You know, while, while everyone is fighting this woman, I you you know. must bring her close. Yes, I'm trying, men of God. You hear me? It's, it's really because disturbing ev me. Everyone in the family hate her. I don't know. 
Yes, please uh, pray for her and you bring her close. And if you do that, God can also heal her. You hear me? Yes, boss, she wanted to come here. She said, uh, uh, I want to look for, for the job for me. I want yeah. to come here. And she's the one who's looking after our father. Our father is very old and they hate her so much. I don't and know. Where is your mom? My mom passed away. Mm. So, please, the family must not hate what they don't know. That's true. So, I'm praying that they must repent from this. Thank you. In Lord. Jesus' name. You're free, Mama. Oh, no, Ma. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Enet Gumbo. I'm coming from Zimbabwe. Prophet Andrews located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. No, he, 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 he spoke about my sister. He said my sister is very sick. And it's very true. And he said, uh, I don't know why these people hate her so much. And it's true. And he said uh, they must repent. And it's very true. It's very true because uh, I've been worried about her. Because my brothers are fighting her so much. My sister is so innocent. She's a, a hard worker. She's working hard. And she's the one who's looking after our father. Our father is very old right now. She's the one who's doing everything at home. But the brothers are fighting her. I don't know why. It's very true. It's very true what he said. So he said, I must bring her closer. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. But I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I know my brothers are going to repent. Because they just hate her for nothing. Even here, I don't know why they are hating her. Because she's the one who is looking after our father. Our father right now is 98 years. And my father passed, my mother passed away. So, I don't know. I feel very happy. I know, I know the situation is going to change. I know the situation is going to change. I've been praying, I've been praying about this. Could God locate my father's house, locate my brothers, and touch the heart of my brothers? This has been my prayer. This has been my prayer. God help me. I used to cry about this, but today, God brought a solution. God, God has brought a solution for this. I know my sister is going to be free. At all. Are you taking care of your child? Yeah, I'm trying. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know, if you see me stopping, there's a problem. And there's a serious problem. Yes. And please, uh, you know, it's a girl. Yes. Huh? Yes. Please. Uh, you know, there are children that if you neglect, you receive punishment. You know, because at this moment, your things are very difficult. Yes. And I want to pray for you. When God bless you, can you take care of that child? Uh, please. Yes. Uh, do as much as you don't have much now. You understand? Yes. You don't have much. But the small you have, try to share it. I Even understand. if it's not enough. Uh, because I just I touch you. I see a girl, small girl crying. Yes. And I said, God, please. Let me speak with him. Let me not pass. Uh, the small support. you have, go and give it to this child. Uh, because otherwise, your things will be very tough. You're hearing me? Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, God will help you. You know, tell yourself that if my financial situation change, and I will still provide what I need to provide. I understand. And may God help you. Okay. In Jesus' name. You're free. 